Hi everybody, it's Emily from DIYM. If you guys are new to this channel, welcome, and I hope you really, really enjoy it enough to subscribe and give it a share. Spread the word, because <laughs> my channel is super new. So this is an interesting video. By the way, my hair is getting so long. Yeah, COVID times. I haven't cut my hair since February of 2020, and I think I was like up to here. Can't remember how long my hair was, but anyways, it was pretty short. So it's grown a lot. Oh, that's my lights. It's grown a lot. I need to fix the lighting in here. <laughs> anyways, this video was an interesting one. I'll just say that. A lot of my DIYs that I do on this channel are stuff that I've done for the first time. I've never actually done any of them before. I may have done something similar or something like that in the past, but a lot of it, the stuff that I'm trying to do, it's like hypothetical. If I come up with an idea or concept, I'm hoping that it pans out. So the lighting is going crazy in here. I am so sorry, guys. This was a definite interesting one. It was kind of... I found that it was kind of a toughie. Basically, I mean, number one, I was doing something that I've never done before, which was two-tone soap. And I was doing this for my brother's birthday. So my brother's birthday is coming up. My younger brother, I've got two brothers. So I already did something for my older brother who is a writer and I did like the typewriter soap. But for my younger brother, he's done like music and stuff like that in the past. He's like a audio sound technician so he, he actually did like the intro and outro music for my channel like the theme songs and stuff so just shout out to him so anyways it's his birthday he also has a son his well, actually two sons but one of his sons is born right on his birthday so weird right i already gave both my nephews something for their birthday they're both summer babies so the other one was born in june and i tried to like gift something to both of them so that they had something to open up together because I know sometimes little kids they get kind of impatient they, they want presents to be theirs too so I just like I made it like a box for both of them sort of thing so I'm like ah you guys have birthdays that are close enough together whatever but this is specifically just for my younger brother and because he loves music he loves computers that sort of thing I decided to do some keyboard soap and again like the keyboard soap was really interesting as you're gonna see in the video it didn't quite go the way I wanted it to I mean number one I've never done two-tone soap ever in my life so to do something that had such a contrast to each other like black and white it was definitely a learning process I just took like a, a black charcoal soap and I like just any brand I, I could find on Amazon and I thought that that was going to work out in this video and well anyways I'm just gonna shut up and I'm gonna talk about it later but see for yourself okay anyways on to the DIY all right so this is my molds that I'm using for this particular project so I'm using it looks like it has three separate things for keyboards and this looks like a nice like size soap for your hands like a nice palm size these are I have two of these actually I'll show you the other so it's like this pink one that's a little larger I think I'm gonna use this one for food though because I think a lot of the pink silicone is mainly like food safe stuff and then somebody showed like almost like you can make like a pancake with this although it's very small I thought it was gonna be a lot larger not that I thought it was gonna be keyboard size but I thought it's gonna be larger than this so but it is a little bit bigger than this one it looks like or maybe it is actually I think it's the exact same size <laughs> Anyways, I feel like this is going to be a good soap size, I hope. We'll see. It might just be kind of thin. So hopefully it doesn't break or anything like that because it is so thin. So what I have, because this is going to be an interesting one, because for this one specifically, this one's going to be just like regular white soap, so it's not going to be that hard to do. But for this one specifically, I, I chose to get some black charcoal soap. And so we're going to do like a two-tone soap, and I'm hoping that it works okay. I've been meaning to do this project for a long time. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. So I have the shea butter as well, so that's gonna be the white. I might do goat's milk if it's not enough or something. But I think I have everything here ready to go. So this comes in like, I think just like a few bars, like three bars or something. So I'm going to sort of just chop up one of the bars. And they smell like mint actually. I think there's some mint in here, which is not exactly best. I think it dries out your skin mint. It's very refreshing and invigorating. <laughs> to like feel it on your body I think so <laughs> should be good but I'm going to try to use this because I'm not a fan of sharp knives and I find this is a little bit easier to use oh look it's 
sort of like flakes. That's interesting. Hopefully this will melt well. We will soon see. Wow, this is interesting. It's almost like, it looks like bark or something. And it actually cuts very strangely. So this is going to be an interesting project to try to do this. Okay, maybe I'll just do a few because these are going to be like very small. So let's try a few just for now. Let's see how that goes, and then I can chop up some more if I need to. So I'm going to use like the smallest of these silicone things a while ago. There's like three, they're like little nesting ones. So I'm going to use the smallest one I think here. It's quite the mess because it's just so bark-like, <laughs> which is really so interesting. It feels smooth, like the actual soap itself feels really smooth, so let's try this. That did not work. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I love the smell of mint though. It's it just it smells like candy canes actually. This is like kind of like a nice thing to give somebody I think for, for around Christmas time. I mean really any time of year. Like mint is like an any time of year thing, but like it does smell so much like candy canes. It kind of reminds me of have you guys ever had if you're Canadian you'll know what I'm talking about, but have you ever had like the president's choice? I think it's like vanilla, but it's like candy cane with chocolate chunks, like ice cream. I think it's so freaking good. So yeah, this is really messy trying to clean this up. Okay, let us try to put this in the microwave. Ooh, very flaky, my god. Let's try to put this in the microwave and see how well it melts, okay? Because it's standard soap, I'm just gonna, instead of doing the 30 second and 10 second intervals, I'm just gonna do 10 seconds at a time and see how that works. Wow, so you just gave it like 40 seconds, like 10 second intervals each. And it sounds like it's crackling, which is really strange. I'm really hoping this works. This is the weirdest soap I've ever seen. <gasps> oh my god, that's the weirdest thing I have ever seen in my life. That's how charcoal soap is made. It just looks like it does not do well in heat. Which is so strange. I bet you the boiling method would be better with this, maybe? I don't know. This is so, so weird. The soap is strange. Oh my god. It doesn't look like it does well in heat. Wow, I don't think this is actually going to work the way I wanted it to. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to attempt. This is something my husband actually was like thinking it might might work. We don't. I don't know. But this is not melting very well, so I'm going to try to put a soap in here that does melt. So hopefully that makes some sort of a difference i don't know we'll see i'm just gonna put this in the microwave right now we'll see how this goes hoping that the microwave does not explode because of this i'm super scared right now i don't know what's gonna happen it looks kind of smoky over here nothing's going on so i'm wondering if i should should i do 30 seconds i don't know i'm scared i'm scared to do 30 seconds i'm gonna try can i offer a suggestion that might give you a little bit more control over the situation what? to do it on the oven. Yeah, do you think I should do the... Oops, just three seconds. Do you think I should actually do like the boiling method? I think, cause, you know, you're putting it in the microwave, closing the door, you have no idea what it's doing. Yeah, I know. But if you put it on the oven, then you can watch it as it heats up. And That's you know true. It's That's true. Okay, so I'll try to... Oh, so nerve-wracking. Okay, let's just attempt this then, I guess. Note, I know nothing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Neither do I. I. I never tried using like some other brand of soap of, other than is the melting ones. Is it steaming or smoking? It, it was like, right? Out. It seems like it's something, something weird is happening. This is like a very strange science experiment. Oh, it's, so, it's like stuck to the bottom here. It's like, it turned into almost like a Play-Doh-y sort of consistency, but like it's too hot to like play with at the same time. Oh my God. This actual silicone is super hot. It smells so strongly like menthol, as you said, right? It's insane. Okay, so I guess we'll just do the boiling method. This is just the weirdest soap ever to try and do this no black soap that you can melt, so, and I think it's really hard to achieve black with food coloring and stuff like that, so I'm just hoping this is going to work out. Maybe this will turn gray with this white soap in there. Probably. Yeah, that's good luck. Thank you. <laughs> One for the highlight reels, maybe? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, hi, everybody. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to boil it. It's at max, but... Only the white soap seems to be really melting here. 
the black soap is like still kind of flaky, which is so interesting. And you can see a lot of steam happening, but that's pretty much down below. So hopefully this is the safer method of doing things. This is a metal bowl, so therefore it's like really hot to touch it. Maybe, maybe because the soap is, as my husband says, like so dry because it's like charcoal and like mint and menthol is very drying for the skin. And I think it's making the actual soap very dry in general. It's very difficult to like melt this. I don't know how the heck they melted this to begin with. Maybe if I keep stirring it, it won't be so bad. I don't know. Put it down to the medium heat now, so it's hopefully not gonna be so crazy and steamy in here. Oh my god, it's so steamy here. It really hurts my hand. It's going through this glove that I have, this like oven mitt. It's so weird. So like I guess different soaps have like different melting points. And this soap is like almost next to impossible to melt. It seems just looks like chocolate chip bark or something. Yeah, so this is super fascinating because like I already put another block in, and one of the other ones already melted, and these this stuff is not even melting that much at all. It's very flaky still, and it's just being covered by the white soap. So it's gonna, if it melts at all, this is going to be very gray. My hypothesis was incorrect. I thought this was going to melt quite well, but I guess not. So yeah, I guess back to the drawing board with this method. I think this is a fail. I think I'm just going to have to do regular soap for this then. That obviously didn't work, so I guess two-tone soap isn't as easy as I thought. Well, I mean, maybe it is if you dye the soap, so I'm just gonna make, I guess, plain white soap in this case, like I always do. So you guys know the drill. Obviously that didn't work, so I'm just going to use this, microwave this. Hopefully this won't blow up the microwave either. And yeah, then I'll just pour it. I might just try to do one in one. And we'll see how much I have. And if I have some left over, I'll pour some in these two as well. So when I'm doing the soap that can melt easily, I'm actually using the shea butter soap. I have some of this left. You can do goat's milk, whatever, anything white, I suppose. So as you guys know, for microwaving, you just do 30 second interval at first and then 10 seconds afterwards until it sort of melts. I'm going to stir that. This is how soap should melt. This is much, I mean, obviously you can see the chunks and stuff because this isn't ready, really ready yet. I need to coat it and put it back in there. That soap seems to be a lot safer than the other stuff, so that's always good. Okay, so let's do this. I think we're good here. It looks pretty liquidy. Oh, there's still one in there that's kind of not melted. Let's just melt that guy a little bit more. And as we're waiting here, we do this as we, as I've done in other videos, sprays with a little bit of alcohol. Okay, let's fill up the rest here. I'm gonna put a few cubes in, just, just like a couple. Let's spray this guy so there's no bubbles. Check that out, that popped immediately, which was really cool to show you guys. Okay, get spray inside here. There we go. So hopefully at least one of these guys will look pretty good. And we will let those guys set. Let's take one last look at this disaster. It actually kind of for some reason looks a little like some sort of Oreo thing. I don't no, but this is going to be thrown out, unfortunately, because that's what happened with Epic Fail projects. So sad. Anyways, I hope that the, I know it's going to be just all white soap, but hopefully that works out as well. I was hoping for two-tone, but I can't have it all, I guess. Okay, so I was doing some dishes. I'll let these guys dry, I think. Ooh, they're quite smooth, so I think they're quite good, except for this one. This one's a little rough for some reason. They still feel slightly warm. This one feels the coolest, so let's try to pop them out and see what happens. I love silicone for this. Wow, look at that detail. Oh, that looks so cute. Actually, I'm gonna get this guy next because this is the next one that I poured. Hopefully it's not too thin for soap. That's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, I love this. This is adorable. But yeah, I'm super, super afraid because this is a little bit thin, but that is super cute though. Oh, they're all so cute. They're really 
really turning out. Oh, I think these two are like the best ones. This one was kind of like the last one to do, but oh, they're so cute. Okay, I love them. Yeah, so I think I got these molds from, what was it, AliExpress? I'll try to see if I can find them and then link that down below if that's possible. But yeah, even if I can't find them on AliExpress, maybe I'll find them on Amazon or something like that and I can just like link that for you guys. So, but oh, so cute. So yeah, I love these. These turned out really, really adorable and I can't wait to package them up. I'm gonna try to see if I can make some stickers with a different method that I've been using because normally, I mean, you can draw them, like draw out stickers if you want to. I'm going to just try to stamp this time instead of doing like something on the computer and then printing it up. I've got like a special Special piano stamp that I'm gonna give a whirl. So I just bought a stamp platform. This is the Tim Holtz stamp platform. I've never used it before. I I have looked at it. I've I put it on the setting that hopefully it's supposed to be on. So hopefully everything's gonna work. Oh, this is scary doing first time things sometimes, but I'm gonna do it with you. Anyways, it's it's a pretty cool little device. I'm just gonna take it right out of the package. So it has these two magnets here and this is supposed to like line things up really easily and really well so so basically one side it says clear on one side and then on the other side here it says rubber so you can use rubber stamps with this if you sort of you flip it out like this right and then it just sort of it just sort of like catches. This is good for rubber stamps. So if you can read that it says rubber, it's basically because uh, it's meant for rubber stamps that side. So if it says clear, then it's meant for the clear stamps. So I'm using a clear stamp today. So I'm gonna keep it on the clear side. And it's, I don't know if you guys can see this very well. Let's see if I can put something behind it, but I wanna put this guy down on here. So this is like a piece of sticker paper. And let's see if I can just sort of like line things up a bit. And the stuff catches pretty easily. Try to keep the, these guys separate if possible okay okay whoops i'm gonna peel this off of here and this just clings it's not really that sticky it's sort of sticky i guess but not really that sticky but it sort of clings and you can just sort of just line it up as best as you can it doesn't even have to be that centered if you don't want it to be or right up near the edge there so i'm gonna give it a little bit of breathing room maybe maybe i should go to the, no, near the edge because it'll be a little easier to cut out so let's do this so you go like this like that. You take the archival ink. This is a black uh, Ranger archival ink and you just sort of ink it up, this whole stamp. Try to go over it a couple times if you can, the best you can. So this is permanent. So if I wanted to color something, I'm gonna let it dry first, obviously, and then I can color it. But if this doesn't get as black as I want it to, this is the nice thing about this, this stamp platform is I can go over it again. You can use a tool as well with this. I think I bought some tools, but I'm gonna try this up first. So that looks pretty good, but I kind of want a darker image than that. So I'm gonna try to go over it again. And it still doesn't look inked enough, so let's just try. Maybe it just doesn't like. Oh, there we go. I think I just really had to press it down quite a bit. I'm gonna get a tool real quick. So this this should help. This is actually I got this like a pack of air hockey puck sliders, and they're pretty cheap, so they're really really good tools for stuff like this. So I'm going to do this. Use this, put some pressure on this. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, I mean, you can still sort of see a little bit of something there, but I mean, I guess I could go over that if I need to. I was preferring not to, but. So let's just try to turn, like flip this around and sort of stamp this way and see what happens. So I'm going to keep things in place here. Let's see what happens here. Oh wow, that turned out really good. That's really clean. Okay, so I'm gonna just do one more just in case. So this tool works out really nicely. You can get like some pretty fancy tools, but I find they run pretty expensive. There's like a four pack of this for really cheap that I'll try to link down below. And there you go. This one actually turned out quite cleanly. There's maybe a little bit here that could have been done, but I mean, it's hard to kind of get along there. So honestly, I think it turned out really, really well. I'm gonna do one more time just in case, get this last little bit here. 
Okay, I mean, it's it's enough, I think. But yeah, there you go. So you can make stickers by stamping. This is just a sticker sheet. So I'm going to just cut these out with like an X-Acto knife and ruler. And then I'm going to stick it on the packaging. So if you want to clean this stuff off, basically all you need to do is get some sort of hand sanitizer. And this actually cleans off the stamps really well, but it also cleans off if you get anything on here too, on the actual platform itself. Yeah, they're extremely strong. These can break if they, if they come together like that, so try to keep them apart as much as you can if you get this same sort of thing. I'm just gonna put this back. I'm just gonna wipe this down, put this back on here, so I'm just gonna follow this guy and just line it up as much as I can. Okay, and then put this back on top so that protects it pretty well. Depends on how you store your stamps. I haven't really figured out a system yet. I've been watching a lot of videos and stuff like that. It's just a lot of interesting organization. I'm just throwing things in, in a drawer, my dream box currently, and it seems to be working okay. Anyway, so that's all cleaned up, and so yeah, I think I got some ink on this counter. So I'm going to clean that up as well with the same stuff. Hopefully this comes off the counter a lot easier. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh shoot, oh no, okay. I also have this Ranger Archival Ink Cleaner and it's gonna be strong smelling, I think. So I'm gonna try this out as well. I should let that set a little bit more. Note to self, don't do stuff like this on your kitchen counter tops. Uh-oh, so I, think I might have this on here permanently. It's not cool. It's really scrapping it now. It is coming off, it's just taking a while to come off. Okay, so I ended up, I used this. This is like a really, really big packaging, so it comes with Sort of like little twist ties and you can sort of use that if you want to instead it's a lot bigger than all this soap so i just sort of folded it over and taped it down and then folded it over this way a little bit and taped it down that way just with some scotch tape something that's see-through i used this for i'm gonna try to link that down below if i can as well i also cut out these guys here so probably won't use both of them i'll probably save one. I think I, I sort of colored in the weird spots with marker. It was like a micron pen. So I have this and this. So I cut this out the way I did those stickers for the bath bombs that I did not too long ago for the dinosaur bath bombs. And I just haven't laminated them. I'm going to show you a different method in case you want to laminate stuff for like soaps and things like that because you know that water is going to be near them. Yeah, in case you don't have a laminator, this is a different method. So this is, as you can see, quite long on the bag and it cuts off. I mean, you could sort of put it on its side if you want to. I don't know if I want to do that. What I might do is I might cut it off. Let's see here. So that's hanging off way too much here. So maybe I'll cut off this guy as well. You can even use this if you wanted to, just like a little little sticker or something that says keyboard soaps underneath, which is actually quite cute too. So either way I think would work. I might put this in the middle. I'm trying not to smudge this. This is permanent ink, so it hopefully won't smudge. Trying to center it as much as I can. It's kind of hard to do. I'm just gonna put this guy right underneath. Keyboard soaps. So that's that. And I'm gonna flip it around. And center this a little more. And just stick that on the back. So, okay, so I'm gonna get this out of the way. I'm gonna try this interesting method here. I just use clear solo tape, like packing tape. And just put that down over top of it in case you guys don't have a laminator like myself this is like a cheaper method try to keep it 
sort of as flat as possible. There you go. And now you won't be able to get water on, on this at all. And it's still going to look nice. So yeah, I think this turned out really cute. I really like how this turned out. I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, so we're going to try this again. It didn't really work very well the first time. Well, there's something there. I'll try to get that out of there. So I'm going to try to get this little tinier. This is like the smallest of my little silicone cups. It's very small. There's some stuff in it too. Yeah, probably from the last time. I was doing stuff with the charcoal. Whatever, it's okay. It's not a big deal because it's like this soap is going to turn black hopefully. So if, if everything turns out. I always do quite a few experiments. I'm going to fill it up pretty much to the top here but this is the clear soap this is just three cubes and we'll see how that melts down I'm gonna try to melt it down the way I was doing the other soaps and I'm just going to add some activated charcoal and it's extremely black powder so I try to be very careful with it if I can and try not to get it everywhere but it's see as, as you can see it's very very black which is perfect for what we want I'm gonna just basically try to melt this down and see how that works out 30 seconds in the microwave, and now I'm doing another 10 seconds. Okay, so it's quick. Bubbly. I'm going to start with just a regular spoon. It's okay if it's bubbly, it's not a big deal. Clear soap is apparently easier to dye a darker color than the white, because the white would turn gray because of the pigment. So I'm just going to use just a tiny, tiny little touch of this charcoal powder and see how that works out. And I'm going to use this other spoon to stir everything up. And that should, whoops. I'm trying to get this off the side. Oh, it's very powdery. But as you can see, it's turning everything very black, which is what we want here. Let's just hope this pours nicely in here. And if not, I don't know what else to do. This is gonna be tough, I think. Let's try this guy. Oops, so hard to pour in these little... I'll just maybe take that off before I... This is really, really hard to pour in here. Maybe we'll just get at least one out of this. We'll clear that out when that solidifies. Little tiny details on soap, so hard, guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to fill this and make like a black keyboard here. Okay, so I have some left, but I can always take that off from there. And I'm just gonna spray everything here as much as I can before it solidifies. And see how that works out. So I'm gonna let that dry, and then I'm gonna try to take away some of this overhanging stuff if I can, and see if I can clean that up slightly. Maybe I can do it with a knife or something with the, some of the overspill. Then I'm going to spray with alcohol and pour a white soap on top. And it can be any white soap you want. I think I'm going to end up using, not the one that I was using before, I think I might use the goat's milk one, just for a little bit of variety with the soap. So hopefully this works out. Cross your fingers, guys, we'll see. So I'm going to experiment a little bit here and see, while it's still warm, if I can sort of clean up some of these edges with like a knife. I'm not a fan of knives. I'm actually quite <laughs> heavily afraid of knives. It's kind of a weird fear of mine. But yeah, I'm just going to try to, while it's still warm, see if I can get more of a cleaner line here to get cleaner looking soap. Yeah, so my knife looks a little gross. It's actually, I think it's just stained more than anything. It is washed. It's just, I think it's just the material here. It just stains really easily. So I don't even know what this is to be honest with you. I don't think it's the charcoal or anything. Just so you guys aren't like disturbed by that. I just figured I'd clear that up. And I hope I don't wreck this silicone molder. I'm trying to go extremely gently as much as I can. I mean, you won't see this underside once I pour the soap. I'm just more concerned with what you're going to see on the other side.
There we go. So this guy, hopefully when it solidifies, it's gonna look nice. Cause you know, I don't see a lot of two-toned keyboards like that. So I figured I'd do like one solid thing just to, to get a lot of the black soap out of there. I mean, I can still pop this out nicely, but yeah, hopefully that'll clear things up. I'm gonna let it set for a little bit longer and then I'm going to try to do the white soap pour for this. Okay, I feel like this stuff it's pretty dry. It's still kind of warm, but it's not too bad. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna pop this aside because this might get a little messy here. And that should be hopefully done. I'll pop that out and reveal that a little later. But right now I kind of want to focus on this guy here. So I have some goat's milk that I haven't really tried in a lot of my videos because I'm trying to be kind of vegan friendly and stuff like that. So I already cut this up. I'm gonna add like maybe four, maybe five little cubes from this and I'm gonna try to warm this up. I'm also gonna try to let it cool a little bit just so that I can pour this on and hopefully it won't affect these guys underneath, okay? So let's try that first. Okay, so that was after 30 seconds and 10 seconds. I'm gonna stir this because there's lots of lumps. All right, so that looks like it's completely liquefied, but I'm going to let it set for quite a bit. Oh, no, it's not completely. It's gonna do one more 10 second interval. So I'm just gonna let this set a bit, and before I pour it, I'm going to add, actually I might do this right now, I'm gonna add some of this, I'm just gonna spray this in there, just to get rid of some bubbles. I'm gonna keep that lid off like this, make sure you guys what I'm doing. We're gonna let it set for a bit until it looks like it's developing a bit of a skin, not too much of one though, and then we will spray that. Spray in here with the rubbing alcohol, and hope the best because I've seen a few tutorials online on how to do this and I'm hoping that I can capture something somewhere. Just making sure, oh there's a bit of a skin happening, not too much of one though. I think I'm going to let it set for a little longer. It's quite warm. I just don't want to melt this and have the, the two because they're very contrasting colors. I don't want the two colors to blend too much. So we will see if this will actually turn out. I don't want it to turn into a gray mess of some kind. So we'll see. I'm going to start spraying here. Okay. And then we'll see by pouring and kind of a stream like this. I think I need some more. Here, I'll just try to cover this as much as I can. Okay, first of all, I'm going to do this. Okay, I'll do that and then I'll just do a couple more cubes of the white soap. And let's see how that works out. Let's see. All the lumps, the lumps are out of here. Okay, but I'm going to let it cool again just slightly. alcohol in there a little bit. Actually, it probably won't be that bad because there's like white on top. We'll see. Hoping this will work. Probably should have sprayed that before I actually poured that, but it was still quite warm, so it might be okay. We'll see. Okay, so now we play the waiting game and we will bring this guy back for now. So I'm just going to wait for it to cool and see how that turns out. The soap's still slightly warm. It's cooling down quite a bit. This one's very cool. It's a bit bubbly in the back. I guess I didn't spray it well enough when I was doing this, but I'm going to try to take this guy out because it's been cooling for quite a while at least. Oh, cool. This looks a lot like keyboards that I'm very used to. I don't know if you can see, can you see that? Oh wow, there's actually, you can actually see quite a bit of detail with like the letters and stuff in here. That's so neat. Oh, there's a bit of a crack there, unfortunately. But there's even like little stars here. Oh my God, it's so cute. I really like that and how that turned out. Just put that guy down. That's from this mold. It's so, it's so cool. I didn't even realize it had that much detail in it because the white soap didn't really show up. Like it didn't show up very well, at least not on camera. Let's see how well this soap turned out though. It's still like, a little warm, so I'm a little bit cautious of this soap. Did it turn out? Oh my God, this is so cool. So a little bit of white soap kind of went down there, but that's okay. Probably didn't put enough black soap there. I tried to clean up, there's like almost like a little bit of gray soap right here. I tried to clean that up and got a bit of a mark on there, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. So I'm gonna soap, it'll come out. 
Same sort of thing, just a little bit of white soap there. Oh wow, it looks so good though. It's super cute, I kind of love this soap. Oh wow, this is awesome. This one looks kind of like the best one. Didn't really have as much white, sort of, you know, how there's little white spots there. I didn't expect that actually. I thought this one was gonna be the worst one, but it actually looks really good too. Oh wow, so that's so cool. I, that's my first time actually doing two-toned soap and it looks really neat. Maybe I can actually clean this up a little bit with my knife, just a bit. Just peel that off slightly. Is that, is that being too perfectionist-y? Maybe. But I, I mean, I think it looks fine either way. I think this one could be cleaned up a little bit more. But other than that, wow, they turned out so cute. Just being very gentle with it, guys, so don't, I don't want to cut through it too much. Wow, I just, I did not expect this to turn out so well. But anyways, I'm gonna let it dry a little bit more and then we can package these guys up. Okay, I'm gonna just try to package it up. I just slid everything in this way like I, I did the last time with the other soap. I used this kind of larger bag again, same sort of thing. And I'm actually gonna show you guys how I taped everything up. Okay, so I just sort of flipped it over. Basically just did this, maybe just like a few pieces of tape along here, whoops. Some regular transparent cello tape, some people call it scotch tape, whatever you want to call it. I guess scotch is a brand though, so it's basically called cello tape if you're not branding it. I'm just going to some tape along there, and it's clear so it's like you don't really see it very well. And then because it's a little, it's hanging out over the edge here a little bit, so I just decided to push that guy off to the side of it as much as I can and then sort of tape this down so it's a little bit sturdier. So there's a lot of tape on this, but I don't think that's that big of a deal. packaging part but it just it'll look neat in the end I think okay and then I'm I basically I'm gonna put this stuff on the back I have a really bad handwriting so normally I print things up but I just did this on a little tiny piece of sticker I didn't feel like reprinting this whole thing so I ended up just doing this you can do that if you have really good handwriting like you can definitely make these like by hand so but yeah so I did this the clear soap was dyed with charcoal and the goat's milk is just the white here. So I'm just gonna take this off and I'm going to sort of put the stickers along this part so it looks a little bit nicer. And I'm going to cover them up the same way I did the last one with some tape. I'll put that aside. Oops, not very even, that's okay. It's not a big deal, I don't think. So just doing that. Oh, that was upside down. Eh. So I'm actually going to use this guy. I'm gonna just probably put a line on the edge here. Okay, and then I will attach this guy. I could do the whole thing like I did last time. I just, I kind of like this small one and I wanted to try a different sort of packaging method. So just pop that on there. And then I'm gonna put keyboard soaps down because why not? It just looks nice to me. And then just try to place that wherever you want. You can even leave a little space here. Like that. Again, I put it off to the side a little bit. I probably should have centered it a bit better, but that's okay. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'm going to do what I did last time just to protect it because if it's going in the water, it's going to need some protection. So just sort of the fingerprints will go away pretty much when you put that down. Not too bad. It might look like bubbles, if anything. And then. Again, I did that upside down, but that's okay. Let's just show you guys right side up here. I'm not going to try to fix that. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, but there you go. Really cute. I'm gonna show you the other one real quick. Okay, so there's two different designs. You can do whatever you wanna do. You can even do something completely different than I did. And I just did fully white soap and that looks really cute on its own as well. But yeah, if you decide to try black soap or two-tone soap, this hopefully was helpful for you guys, okay? So yay!
I think it turns out really, really cute. Okay, so I actually made some extra soap here because number one, this, I don't know, this two-tone soap thing was really fun for me to do. I was so impatient, I, I didn't wait and I ended up taking this out before it was ready and like this part was right here was all still wet and it just sort of caved in on itself. But this part was all dry, so that was fine. So I just cut that part off. I'm just gonna use the rest of the white soap for like another project. I'll just melt that down. It's not a big deal. But so package the the other ones up that I actually did wait for and just like a little little tiny packages again I can put stickers and stuff like that on this later if I want to this is just for in case I want to give music presents to other friends or another family member or whatever so I'm going to do a little experiment with this though because somebody was asking me if the soap if it's two-tone if it's black and white or something does that mean that when you wash your hands the soap's gonna turn gray so let's just try it and see and let's uh, experiment here I've got some water in a bowl like I did with that one tutorial I did with the bath bomb so let's see how this, this actually works in water and see if it comes off. It seems to be pretty good. Like it seems to be staying the same sort of color. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's not too bad. Like there's a little bit of a, a white milkiness from this soap, I guess, coming off on the black soap. So it's turning slightly gray, but it's not really that big of a deal. Like it's not, I think it's pretty good still. It's contrasting quite a bit. Anyways, I like that. It turned out really good, I think. Yeah, just it sort of works really well just like regular soap. So yeah, try it for yourself, guys, if you ever think that you want to do something like a two-tone soap. But yeah. I think this turned out really cute. What do you think, guys? Comment down below if you really like this tutorial. Yeah, I mean, the water's kind of grayish, I guess, but it doesn't really look like everything's gray or anything like that. This is actually turning out really, really cool. I like this a lot. My hands feel nice and clean, too. It worked out so nicely. So, yeah, it was quite challenging to do this one. It was still fun. It was just like, it was just challenging more than anything. So obviously I figured it out and it looks really good. I'm just gonna show off the soap. Also, I have like the stickers that I made here just for fun. I don't know, I like love this. I love, and it's like, it doesn't come off, like the ink doesn't come off cause it's like a permanent ink. So if I wanted to, I could color over it and it should be fine, but I'm not going to do that because it's, you know, it's meant to look like that, but so yeah, here is the soap. I did both, just white because like obviously this is what I knew and was used to, but I did this, this was like a completely different soap. I'm gonna give them both of these, I think. So this is the Shea Butter and the Unscented and Undyed. And then this one is the, this, the goat's milk and the clear soap with, this was dyed with the charcoal. As you can see though, it's, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. See, it's kind of sparkling a bit. It's almost like because I was doing them so quickly, I didn't really wait for them to fully dry before I packaged them, which was probably not the best idea, but um, I think they sort of crystallize when you do something like this, when they're not really fully dry. I mean, I still think it looks super pretty, but it wasn't exactly what I was going for. But yeah, it's like, so just to my brother, just so he knows if he's watching this video, just like, it's not supposed to be sparkly. It's just crystallized. But like, again, I'm sure that's going to be fine. If you just like rinse it with water, you're not going to be sparkly or anything like that. So don't you worry about that. And it only happened on the black charcoal soap. It might have to do with might be crystallizing because of the actual charcoal because it's like activated charcoal or something. I'm not sure. I have, I'd have to look into it. Obviously like charcoal when compressed makes diamonds. So maybe, maybe he's getting some diamonds out of this. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Anyways, I thought those were really, really cool kind of soaps and I was really shocked that they worked out. Honestly, I wasn't sure if things were going to pan out, especially with like the first attempt, as you guys saw. It was scary. Oh, and like shout out to my husband. Yeah, he's a little shy about coming on the camera, but like he doesn't mind having his voice in the background. So, but like, I really, really appreciate the fact that he 
tried to help me with that project and put a little bit of input in there because it looked like things were gonna get dangerous if he didn't intervene so I'm really really happy that he ended up doing that. In case you guys haven't seen this on my channel before, I know I've had this on my channel before, this is my musical cherry shirt so obviously because I was doing keyboards I figured be on theme with some musical stuff but I look kind of like Valentine's Day right now with like the red and the pink my pink glasses and stuff. Anyways, whatevs. It's not even remotely close to Valentine's Day. But yeah, I've got like, basically it's called musical cherries because some of the cherries are sort of in the shape of musical notes, but like subtly. So it still looks like a cherry pattern. I'm going to link the link to this musical cherries pattern down below on like all sorts of different clothes. So it's not just going to be t-shirts and stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this like musical slash computery content. I really enjoyed the theme for this one. I mean keyboards can be a couple different things. Kind of liked how I did them sort of together and I really liked just the black and white theme of this even though I you know me I like love bright colors and things like that but I really loved the, the black and white theme. I thought it was really really cool and I loved how it actually worked out and they didn't blend together too much which was amazing and obviously when it did blend together a little bit you saw how I fixed that so and if you want to comment down below did you like this kind of content do you like keyboards and stuff do you like playing with keyboards like I don't know I like the clicky clacky sound of like old school kind of keyboards for like computers and stuff like that I also love I'm not a musical person I guess you could say but I used to have like an actual keyboard my brother has a keyboard because of his career so he has a keyboard but like we used to play with like this keyboard that I used to have like it's a toy keyboard that I had when I was like younger we used to also play with a piano at my grandma's place just sort of like played by ear we weren't really like reading music or anything like that when we were younger we just sort of play around with it so he kind of went more professional with that sort of thing I just did the fine art route, I guess. So different kinds of creativity in my family. Like my older brother writes for movies and, and TV and stuff like that. So like we're all kind of creative in our own way, which I think is really, really cool. But we can all sort of write and draw, I think. So it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. That's like the end of this video. So like, share and subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you have subscribed, Thank you guys so much for supporting me and being here. You know, I can't do this without you. Thanks so much. Take care, guys. Have a good one, okay? Bye.